Constipation. I know that there are some hard nuggets in there. I will finger my butthole, but not in a sexual way. Uh, it's never in a sexual way. Mental illness, bitch. Have you ever heard of it? But I'm on my mental. I'm not okay. And no. You know, that's why I got upset about it. It wasn't just because she was just like saying you're being a dumbass, you're retarded, this, that. No, it was because of that. Because I'm really retarded. <laughs> Last time on Original Owl. Oh, also, yeah, I guess before we get into eggs, MFW drank. MFW. If you guys are aware, MFW has been on a 90-day no drinking type thing, type deal. Well, God damn, do I love drinking. That oh, one hey, shit, hey. you know? I know I've been, like, you know, super... Like today, that, that shit, that dream I did... There's no way I was going to sit there for another hour and listen to that bullshit. For free? No, no, no. Okay, so here we go. Mr. Moneybag. Mr. Monopoly Man. I'm going to show you what he's referring to here. He knows exactly what he did and exactly what he said. I'm batting a thousand on everything I predicted and everything that I... I, I just, I'm batting a thousand, right? I'm batting a thousand, and I think I make people nervous. Why are you all sweaty? And why is your hat down over your eyes? How fucked up are you? Any more guys? But I keep getting back. I keep going back to that. He's, like, these folks standing for me. I'm fucking live. He is portly, isn't he? That's the, that is the first word that po He's like the bad chubby. Hello, Hooters. Hello and happy Tuesday to everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. I was watching the chat. I see we already have a great group of people in here. That is awesome. So thank you. It is... Tuesday, August 22nd. I don't know why I'm live right now because I have like a thousand and three things to do after this, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. I couldn't not stream this evening because as most of you have probably heard. Oh. Thank you, Poppy Cats. Welcome. You have been. A, oh, you've been a member for one month. Thank you so much, Poppy Cats, for being a member for one month. Thank you. She says, yes, Alan Hooters. Yes, Al and the Hooters are here. Okay, I want to say hello to everybody so that we can get started because I want to really get through everything with you guys. But yeah, as you may have heard, DC Media Girl has come back 
full throttle all into the drama, addressing everything. And even some things that I wasn't even aware were a problem. She's pretty much delusional. So we'll get into all of that. If you guys need uh, links to join the channel or whatever, support, they are always in the description down below. Ah, special member emojis for today. We have got Botox because, quite frankly, someone is overdue. And we also have now, it is similar to our ball, uh, our hanging balls emoji, but this is actually balls in a jar. And you're going to see why they are now in a jar. So both of those, of course, have to do with DC. DC is the main event today. So that's what we got so far. Okay. Member emojis, all that out of the way. Let's say hello. Everybody get onto live chat, please. All right. Salty. Yes. Shady's back. Back again. Uh, Rose. So lovely to see you always. Thank you for being here, Rose. Beatrix. Joe from Detroit. Tank Girl's Pet Dragon. My members. Thank you for being here. Mandalorian is here. Bebop. Crazy Enigma. Goose. Lovely to see you, Goose. Mutton Chop is here. Oda May. Hello. Graceful Raindrops. Nice to see you today. Who else do we got? Stupid Round Eye. No Fat Monty. Sam Stutler. Good to see you all today. Thelma Lou. Hello. All right. Lola Bean. Toasty with the Mosty. Hey, girl. Good to see you always. Got Poppy Cats. Thank you for utilizing your member message. It's probably my fault. Hello, Morgan. Great to see you in the booty emojis. <laughs> okay, did I get everyone? Emery's and Jack Burton. Hello, I didn't get you too. Lovely Lisa Warrior Queen, April Love. Okay, I'll get the rest of you as you're coming in. Brandy, my husband thinks Clara looks like a see you next Tuesday version of my stepmom. I'm sure a lot of people get like stepmom feels whenever they interact with DC. I can definitely see how that would happen. Hello, Gatta. Good to see you today. All right. So yes, DC has returned, but there's kind of been a lead up to her having to return and talk about all this. She insists that if she had not been in DC, when all of these things kicked off, that none of this would have happened at all. But that's just not true because Negs is actually the one that started this entire situation. He started it himself and then turned around and started asking what happened after he was the one to first kick it off and address everything. So we're going to go back a little ways to the 19th, whenever he made that short. <laughs> Poppy cats. High roller today for 20. Goodies for Rocky. Mwah, thank you so much. Yeah, that's hot, right? Oh, Katie, ripping her teeth out so she can get a bite of that hoagie. Katie, thank you so much, Poppy Cats, for the 20, and we will definitely get some goodies for Rocky. Rocky always gets a cut of the YouTube check. Taking care of business, hello. It's been a year since baby Jason was born. Was JW the father or not? I actually cannot reveal that yet. I can't reveal that until I have been given the go-ahead and do my interview with the person that I'm going to be interviewing regarding that. So you will be finding out this year whether or not JW is the father and what happened with baby Jay over the past year since he's been born. So I'm sorry that I can't answer you, but you will be answered, you know, before the end of this year. Everything will be put to light. I promise. I know that everybody's waiting patiently, been waiting very patiently, but there was a lot of official stuff to do with all that. And I just, I don't want to interfere with any of it or make it harder or make it stall. So to me, it's worth it. It's worth it to wait. Salty Rage Shirt ages you quick. Yes, let me bring up our little, I love this sound bite that I have now. Look at this, you guys. This is such a great sound bite. Okay. Okay. Clara was a queen today. She was an evil queen. But like I said, first we're going to go back to the 19th. Whenever Negs put up that short from the alleged store location, his alleged store that he's supposed to be opening. Any day now. Every day it's any day now. Okay, let me get that pulled up. Because I want to play this first so that when we play Clara, 
it's easy to pull the lies that she told in her stream, or at least the contradictions. It seems like Negs and Clara are not communicating before they decide to go on and say these things because they are saying two different things. And even two different things from their same out, like Clara will say something and then contradict it 10 minutes later. So shit's a mess in the attic. It is a total mess, but we are going to figure it all out. So that video was called What's Going On? On the 19th, whenever he decides, well, I'm just going to play it. Hold on. I won't say what he says because we're going to show you. Hey, what's up? I'm down here at the future location of the attic. There we go, computer. Attic. Catch up with me. All right, let me pull it up so you guys can see it and hear it. There he is. Okay, Ronald. On the 19th, he uploaded this. It was called What's Going On, and it was just a YouTube short, and he decided to do this from the shop, from the attic shop for some reason. He finally got into his store. He's been waiting weeks to get that lease signed and get the keys to the store. And the first thing he does when he gets in there is take the opportunity to make a video about YouTube drama. So that's just kind of strange and seems completely opposite of what he's been telling us he wants to do, which is separate work from drama, right? He's been saying that since he bought the damn store, or says he bought the store. All right, let's listen to this. Hey, what's up? I'm down here at the future location of hey, the Angel. attic. As you can see, right there's my point of sale. It's my case. It's my refrigerator in the back. And there's my production room. Let's take a look in. Let's take a, a walk in here. Um, I have a question for AK from the bodega. Um, why did you upload all those negative clips about me after I thought we all agreed as adults not to just to, just to part ways but you've uploaded a bunch of negative clips about me and involving clara it's like it, it, it reminds me of the same shit that was being done before was just clips were being so yeah he's calling out ak directly for posting members only clips of times when he and clara were fighting which everybody knows that he and clara used to be mortal enemies prior to being each other's loves, right? We all know that. But just listen closely to what he's saying in this. Why did you post these clips? Why didn't we know about these clips? He's implying that he didn't know they existed. He didn't know they were on her channel, et cetera, et cetera. Just keep that in mind before we go and listen to what Clara had to say. He said to me, what are you doing? The cops came to your parents' house. Are you trying to create trouble for other people? Then don't cry victim. Okay. So that was that was the clip that he put out. That was the kindling to the fire that he knew was about to come. Negs knew that this was all going to happen because he started it, like I said. Hold on, guys. I'm going to click my fan on because if I don't, the smoke's just going to sit right in front of me. I can't take that. There we go. Much better. Ugh, I don't want to be sitting in hot boxing myself. Hey, Lumpy Space. Great to see you. Chicklets. Hello, everybody. Thank you for filing in. Please hit the like button. <gasps> David Di Dominici. So lovely to see you always. I am DD. I think she wants him to. I think she wants him to. So worked up, he takes out a few people. Thank you, I am DD. Okay, so we watched that. Then. He did a stream on his Rumble. We're going to open up a clip from that now. Sorry, we're going to be jumping between clips before we get to Clara. Ah, here we go. This is from a stream on his Rumble that was titled, Your Fear Cripples You. And that was done, I believe, the morning of the 20th from what I have in my notes, okay? So listen to some of the stuff he says in this. I know it's quiet. It's his shitty audio. I'll turn it up as loud as I can. Again, is because the internet, again, is not hooked up in my fucking shop. So. Oh, man. Let me bump See, that back. I, 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 I,
uh, the only reason I'm here again is because the internet again is not hooked up in my fucking shop. So. Uh, so he's been saying the internet is supposed to be hooked up in the shop since like Saturday, like the past weekend. They were supposed to come in the morning and hook it up, and it still, as of Monday, this was yesterday, was not hooked up for some reason. I don't know why that would be. It just seems he has the worst luck with these things, getting things done the day he swears they're going to be done by. Man. See, I... <laughs> we'll just get right into it. AJ did a stream last night and showed us she didn't lie. And... That's pretty much that. I mean, I mean, like she she showed that she didn't lie, as opposed to you know, um, seeing proof that she you know did lie. So uh, that's what I'm going by. Um, I don't know what happened over in that other server, but Trim I figured that it was going to culminate. No, it's uh, Juan up and Ron. Because it always does. Um, Uh, there was no lie about me weaponizing people or sending people out to do my dirty work because, oh, crap, I got to charge my headphones. Give me just one second. Shit. <laughs> yeah, so this AJ Lair, I'm not even going to put a lot of effort into, like, finding out who she is. I wasn't aware before, and it really doesn't matter who she is now. She's just a piece of the puzzle. But I went over and listened to some of her videos. You just heard, Ron, he explained the whole situation exactly what happened and he said it was squashed that she proved that she didn't lie about the clips existing or whatever um but yeah aj actually you know who aj reminds me of is peanut if you guys know peanut or angry pistachio they sound and act exactly the same they're these people that virtue signal and say they're not okay with things that go on in the community and they're not okay with the drama but damn they have a channel and they're in the community they're just not okay with anything anybody does, even the people that they converse with and hang out with online. She's one of those. So I really don't care to find out who AJ is. She just is who they all use to kick all this off. But you heard in that one, he explained the situation. He seemed to know what was going on on the 20th. He wasn't confused about it. So it was weird whenever he came back then, the next day. And started bitching about it again, as if the situation Lines, wasn't et cetera, over. Et cetera. Welcome to the broadcast of a century. Uh, I made this. Yeah. And he also, do you guys see this fuck Joe Biden flag that is hung over the attic neon sign? That's where the attic neon sign usually is. In that stream that we just watched a clip from before this, he said, this is the last time you're going to see that neon attic sign in here. Next time you see it, it'll be down at my shop. Next time I'm on Rumble, I'll be down at my shop. And of course, he was back on Rumble from his shitty house the next day. And all he did was throw a fucking flag over top of the neon sign. He couldn't have just taken it down and pretended that it went to the store. No, he just threw a flag over it. No one will know a thing. No one will even notice it. Right, Niggs? <laughs> A, uh, now he's I made be this confused. a panel because I would like for people to come up and explain why I am being punished what? over AJ. Okay, listen, motherfuckers. This isn't my first rodeo, okay? This isn't my first rodeo. You're acting like it is. There's a lot of effort on a lot of people's behalfs to get negs to condemn somebody over something he did not see. Over something he didn't see. Over over something something he, did he did not see. He did in not the wait. stream clip we just watched from like twelve hours prior to this one. He knew the situation. He knew what happened, and it was solved as far as he was concerned. But he came back then and stirred it right back up. Now he's confused. Now he needs somebody to come up on panel with him and explain what's going on. You see how he's creating the problem, and then turning around and asking what the problem is. I think that's why it confused a lot of people. I saw a lot of people asking about a timeline and how did we get here? And this is how we got here. Even explaining it, it doesn't make sense because it's one person making and try trying, acting like they're trying to solve the problem. So that's why it doesn't make any fucking sense because Negs both created it. We watched him create it and bring it up. 
And then he turned around and tried to act like he was solving it. Chicklets, he always condemns people for stuff he ain't seen. He condemns people for everything. Everything. If they send him stuff, they don't have his best interests at heart. If they don't send him stuff, they're keeping it from him and they're letting him out and he feels abandoned. Worst rodeo cowboy ever, lion eyes. He wouldn't even get near a freaking bull. Are you kidding me? So now he's so confused. He has no idea what's going on. He needs someone to explain. And I want to know why. But I'm not going to throw the link out into the fucking ether so a, a, a bunch of the pedos and fucking retards could jump up here and, and foam at the mouth for five minutes. I want to know from people who, who I don't even know where this is coming from. I don't even know where this is coming from. I don't from. even know where it's My coming from. My contention was uh, people said they had proof and it's me <laughs> negged and, 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 and people didn't give it to Rocky. me. Rocky. In a community where that's what I preach. In a community where you guys have watched me be accused of things I didn't do and nobody ever proves anything. I ask for proof and you tell me to go fuck myself and then you punish me for not falling in line. And I also, I was thinking while I was watching this through, people don't really accuse Negs of doing things. Not currently, really. People accuse him of calling CPS in the past. And not that long ago, I, you know, Sam and Yaba had to deal with a CPS call, but it's him that accuses people of hurting him and doing things to him. People will leave him alone and not accuse him of anything and just talk about the things that he's actively saying and doing on social media. And he tries to flip it, everything. He tries to flip everything and his audience just licks it up. They love it. Yep, it is never, ever Lil Wani's fault. Never April love. It's never something he did, even though he just sat and told us. He knows what the situation was. Now he needs it explained to him. That's what you did. That's what you did. You think I'm going to sit here and grovel over a couple of bucks? I have seen millionaire after millionaire come and go through this community over and over again. Could it be like Skeeter Jerkins is still latched on the lid tit over there, getting the money, getting dead husband money. But no, I don't give a fuck. What I give a fuck about is my dignity, my integrity, and the truth. <laughs> People aren't going to rob me of any His of those dignity. things because it, why are you making such a big deal of it? It's because I want to know. I want to know what you want to know what you want to know what because I'm about to play your loves stream. And she says you guys have seen these clips and known about them your whole relationship. In fact, you've talked about them at great length. Those I think were her a quote, a direct quote from your love, Clara, that you have talked about these clips that you are acting oblivious to right now in length several times. So which is it? What the problem is, I want to see what the problem is because here's the deal. I think you all have forgotten about this. I thought we could talk to whom we wanted, right? Eh, okay. Is it tragic labeled a big- You guys get the picture. Now he's confused. Now Ronnie's confused. What happened? What happened even though I started it all, and I'm the one who called people out by name. Now what's happening? I don't understand. So he starts losing support over this, obviously. What are you doing, bud? He loses support over this because people are forced to pick sides. You know, this whole addict community with AK and Tragic and D and Clara and Ron is being ripped apart now and people have to choose a side. People like Anna Nicole and Ritalin, you know, all the people that are just kind of in the background. Now they're expected to choose a side whose pay pig they're gonna be. Cause you can't be both. You have to choose a side whenever one community is getting ripped apart, right? So we get this from Ron. Uh, unless the kids choir, anyway. So quiet. Tell everybody an apology first and foremost. Um, and, and listen, this isn't an excuse, and I'm not going to continue to use this as an excuse, but I'm going to continue to use this as a reason to work on it. But, like, um, <laughs> post-traumatic stress, man. What the fuck else can I say? When people start leaving and things become about money, I start to go back to, dude, this is like, I, I, have, I, have, I have had my community stripped away from me no less than three times and, and had to rebuild it, like, multiple times. It's a trigger. And I stripped away from him. His audience has been stripped away from him. Not he pushed them away. Not he sat there and said, my audience does nothing for me unless I'm having a sad 
and up here having a mental breakdown as they were actively donating to him. No, none of that. They, his audience has been ripped from him. Evil Sam Tepler and Yaba and uh, Gigi have just torn these people away from him. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that, Ron. He actually I starts guess, to cry. I guess fuck you then. I mean, I thought, you know, like, it was different. But no, I was... I want to apologize to you guys because that is something... That is a me problem. That is something that I have to work on as an individual. And he even said it. He is apologizing because things became about money. He doesn't realize that he said that because he's fucking crazy. He's insane right now. He's on autopilot. Like, Negs is not piloting Negs right now. It's just his crazy colonic and filled mind that's rolling him right now it's crazy um, myself okay as far as anybody concerned about my eyes and my demeanor yes the doctors up my medication because of my stress and stuff so if, you, if i'm on a stream and i seem like ah, man, it's because i took my medication and it makes me it doesn't make me drowsy yeah you're taking it on stream you're taking the clonip in on stream we get that you're prescribed to it we're that's not the issue the issue is you're taking it so often that you can't avoid taking it on a live stream, on a two-hour live stream out of a 24-hour day. You have to pop open a Klonopin and take it to get through a stream. Do you see why people are worried? Do you see why it's an issue? Because you're taking the medication while you're on stream and talking about how, and then you proceed to sweat and can't even open your eyes and you're panting and ugh. We all saw that stream the other day. I have something to say. I think it was called. He was wet. He was sweaty wet. And his, his skin on his face looked like it was melting off. Anyways, you guys, my members have a tiny violin uh, emoji. And I now have my very own tiny violin. So we're going to play our violins in just a moment. Because as I said, Negs is actually going to start crying about this. This man is supposed to be opening a store. He is supposed to be in that store right now as we speak. He is supposed to be in there moving his 4,000 fucking DVDs and whatever else pins that he's selling. But instead, he is on Rumble where he swore we wouldn't see him again with that stupid fucking attic sign still in the fucking background, not at the fucking store. <laughs> Like, is anyone else starting to think that this store may just never happen? Ever? Why are you here, Niggs? Why are you on Rumble? Why? See, it just makes my eyes... Whatever. I'm not fucking fried out of my brain. And if my, and if, <laughs> and if my voice is slurring, I probably had a stroke that day that I thought I, I had a pain in my chest. Who knows, man? A stroke. I owe an apology um, to everybody because I, I have that really idea. just... I can't help it. And it sucks. I can't help it. Uh, 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 abandonment is such a he can't help it boy that's a big one but thank you d very much thank you for accepting my apology um d we know what d's all about i got a long way to go um I got a long way to go, and I allowed myself to be pulled into something that had like nothing to do with me well I mean it did those videos on pulled into pulled into negs on the 19th you started everything you no none of us would have known about it if you hadn't kicked it off on the 19th with that stupid short from your shop you're supposed to be in there getting ready to be a salesman and setting up your pos system that you probably didn't even order probably don't even have you just have a desk that it's supposed to sit on why are you here why are you here starting fights on YouTube? And you're even saying it's because you're bored. I'm on here because I'm bored. If the internet were hooked up in my shop, I'd be down there. I just need the internet. You need the internet to set shelves up? You have electricity. You know, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. He needs internet in order to go and set up his shop. And get it ready to open, which is supposed to be opening mid-September, <laughs> allegedly. That channel had everything to do with Always it. April. Um, it is what it is. They're gone. Whatever, right? Problem resolved. I ain't got no fucking problem with that. Whatever. Um, but what am I trying to say here? Work them up. I yes. Stay tuned. Squeeze them out. Um, Squeeze, nigs. 
everybody's really been shouting at he me needs the, the last onion. few days, and that is like, I just realized I'm not like faulting anybody for this. Everyone's but, like, shouting at him. I'm just going to be honest with you. The other day when Alex <laughs> came in here and told me I was part of the problem, that set the tone for me. Now, when you tell me, you do what you got to do, Holly. When you tell me that I'm part of the problem, Holy. what am I supposed to do? Defend myself? Or am I supposed to... No, you're supposed to take that as constructive criticism and look inside of yourself. That's what you're supposed to do. When somebody comes in and says, hey, I'm just being honest, you're part of the problem. You like to use the term common denominator. Negs loves to use that term. Like he knows what it means and that he's self-aware. Ugh. You are the common denominator. You started this. <laughs> yes, Salty. He is the problem. He's trying to work up tears. He's trying hard. Hi, Renee. Good to see everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Am I supposed to... What? What am I supposed to do with that? What is he supposed to do? I don't even know what the problem is. That's what this whole thing has been about because I don't know what the problem was. Like, you shouldn't even have a fucking problem on the internet. You've talked about nothing but opening a store since June. Talking about any day now, signing the lease. Any day now, I'll have internet. Any day now, I'll have the keys. Any day now. Yet here he is, worried about YouTube shit. He should not be worried about this at all. But he is because these are the people that are funding his little dream, his little attic store dream so he has to he has to find a way to retain them because that's the only way he's going to be able to do this hey ishka bibble i i don't come on cry ron i want to watch clara thank you sherry very much thank you sherry love loving the chat for d sherry and beth please ah uh. that was my confusion and i just felt like i'll be honest with you i mean i just felt like people were trying to tell me what to do and, and god damn that's right, Goose. Hundred thousand in the first anybody, year. Regardless, I mean, I'm very defiant to a fault, and I can't stand it. But I'm sorry if I said anything that upset anybody because that was not my intention. I just felt abandoned. I did. He just felt I abandoned. Did. I didn't know what had happened. I still don't. But, but, I don't. It's not that I don't care. I can't care. Okay, guys. Let me just explain something to you. Um. We're skipping to the tears. Cry. There's no way that I could do it. So I, I can't. Here he goes. I can't. He can't I care. People posting things that are like borderline. You're like a woman. I, can't. I don't I'm even you, say that shit. I, I don't did, even I lay this shit on my husband. And blocking some people. because It must like, suck to be Clara. I can't handle that shit either. Like, this is what, this is, these are the things that make the internet become all consuming. No, I bet you're fine. Beth, you are one of my biggest supporters. It should be impossible to consume you with the right internet now, right now. The only thing is I can say right now is I can't. The last 72 hours talking to everybody, which I've done on my own accord, at different people and doing streams, I'm exhausted. I am. You know, I want to play some video games and play my guitar, pet my dog. Tiny violin. I, I just, I'm playing it. I don't know. Like, like, like I told... I hope she don't mind me saying this, but I told Clara, I said, I hate to say this, but I don't trust anyone. Oh, this is really she sad. she said, no offense taken. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> That's no so sweet. Taken. I mean, I, wow. Really? Really? Because I'd be, I'd be so offended. I'd be like, you don't trust me? <laughs> Here he goes. Yep, put your face down. Maybe, maybe he does have an onion. He puts his face down for quite a while. All I needed was the internet hooked up in the shop. <laughs> All he needed. All he needed was the internet hooked up in the shop. <laughs> Hang on. I have to play that again and soundbite it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to need that clip forever. Oh, take your teeth out, Katie. Ooh, look at the spit. Ugh. Yeah, that's hot, right? Crush Cooter Q for five. I can't wait to go see the store. Crush, I am going to find a way. I am going to find a way to get to that store. I have to. I'm going to have to also buy a bulletproof vest because we all know Megs ain't fucking around. That place is lighting up like Wrigley Field. Okay, so he's like acting like he's trying to hold these tears back really hard. Let me play this lunacy one more time.
All I needed was the internet hooked up in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need that. That sound bite's going to come in so much handy. All I needed was the internet hooked up at the shop. That's going to be the reason for all of this. No internet, no store. Oh, you be good. I'm allowed to yell. Rocky said I'm getting too wound up. I got to fucking calm down. Okay, so then he comes back with this. He doesn't want you to see him cry, guys. He doesn't want to draw attention to it or anything. <laughs> there we go. For some reason, you can't. No, you can't see shit. These are polarized. I don't care. <laughs> Just in case, since he can't get any tears out, that's letting um, you guys know he's supposed to be crying. It's just very interesting. Um, listen, I'm not going to sit here and throw AJ under the bus because I'm like, let me, let me just <laughs> Oh my God, it shut up. Gonna have to okay. Okay. It is time for Clara. Everyone ready? I'm ready for Clara. Okay, let me find her. Rocky, you behave yourself. Mommy is fine. Mommy is just fine. It's been a few days, okay? I gotta let it out while I can. I have to. I know, Mommy's crazy. Okay, let's go, guys. Here she is. I got it down to 30 minutes for us. It was like an hour-long stream, and I cut out all the stupid shit. Dude, guys, this isn't gonna be what you think it is. I know now you think that Claire is gonna come on and, like, j explain this whole situation and what happened. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I got a straight kick in the ass whenever I turned this on. What I thought I was going to hear, it's something completely different. Claire is like on another planet right now. She's suffering the same amount of delusion as Negs is. I know, Goose. The hair, the and she don't give a fuck. She's about to tell you, but listen to this. Okay, so here's what I want to start with this, this with. Let me let Rocky out. He's getting upset. As we're aware, Miss Clarabelle here and her love, Negs, are embarking on opening a store, but not just a DVD store, a production studio, okay? That $10,000 Kickstarter, that's so that they can buy all of the best equipment, the best mics, the best speakers, the best everything, only the best, okay? And it's just so fucking poetic that Clara came on today and could not for the life of her get her microphone to work. So her and Mr. Production Daddy were muted for the first six or seven minutes of their stream, of her stream. I did put it into four times speed. I just didn't want to leave it out. I, I want to watch it. It's fantastic. <laughs> These two people are about to open a production studio. The only production studio in Connorsville, Indiana. She thinks it's fixed. She thinks it's fixed. She's talking. She thinks they can hear her. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, his crazy fucking tattoo. I saw someone, who was it? William. William Palmer said it looked like Gary the Snail. from. Look at her getting on the floor. They're, we can just talk while those two are figuring that out. It looks like Gary the Snail from SpongeBob, and it 100% does. If you put them next to each other, it is the funniest thing ever. So they're still going. Like I said, it's in four times speed. Oh, it's so funny. We're opening a projection studio. We're uh, we're production specialists. We're going to make commercials. Check, check. There we go. Oh, there we go. Can you hear me? Woo! Can you hear me now? Woo! I don't think, I don't know what's going on. Check, check. There we go. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Oh, right. good. Hear Thank me. God. Oh, and oh, let's see that again. Disgusting. I don't think, I don't know what's going on. Check, check. There we go. Okay, good. He was going to go. Me? Look, he Thank tries to get out. He tries. Nope. Sorry that I'm sorry, Nick. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the camera microphone. I know the audio quality isn't the greatest. 
but so they couldn't get it figured out okay so, by the way get this the thing two out of the production way. studio future production studio owners could not get the mic situation figured out okay go on clara go on with the delusions of grandeur jamie carpenter thank you for subscribing enjoy the view of my butt from if you were laying down underneath me okay let's hear what she has to say she's mic'd up now hi cinnamon hot hot i'm gonna say it again uh i took down the backdrop because i could give a fuck less about what you all think of the messiness of this room my hair is wet don't care don't give a fuck um all right let's get down to it because it's been like let's see seven minutes that this bullshit has been going on so let's get right into it so to paraphrase it's so bad uh to pa it's like one single layer now at this point it's just like one single like you wouldn't have to part it off to cut it or anything it's just one single thing of hair coming down it's getting serious Paraphrase. Thank you, my She's baby. She's probably I pulling it. her hair up. Um, and it's good to see everybody. Thank you for being here. She is laying her To paraphrase, um, oh, loud. I'm one sorry. of my favorite books, Tinker Taylor's Soldier Spy, the character it. Ricky Tarr. I have a story to tell you. And it's a story all about spies. Yep. Spies. Not professional spies. I'm telling you guys. I am telling you. You might think you know what she's about to talk about, but you don't know shit. Okay. Yeah, you don't know. But the Three Stooges. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I will never speak about this again because there's no need. There's no need to speak about this more than once. This is going to be my Can one and done. Botox in and the it's going to be over. The eyebrows have fully returned to their normal position, maybe even a little lower than they were. Times are tough, though. She, they're living off of a $10,000 GoFundMe. They don't know when they're going to crowdfund next. So Botox is just not in the budget. But you guys can give her some in the chat. My members have a special Botox emoji just for the situation. Please give Clara some Botox. Spies and failed ops. Because, of course, these people weren't intelligent enough to carry it out in full because they Ow. overplayed their hand. Now, I think that I need to remind people of a couple of things. Here we go. Just so that there's no, just so that there's no ambiguity, just so that there's no confusion. Two things. One is that Thank Megs, you. my beloved, <laughs> has said multiple times in his server and on stream that he does not want to get DMs from people on any kind of shit that is going on involving him or me. He doesn't want to get all kinds of information. Uh, he had to block people who wouldn't stop sending him information. Okay, then that leads to my first question. If he does not want involved in any of this bullshit, if he wants as far away from it as possible, then how come at the very first sign of something that he could pick up and run with, which was AJ Lair, Mentioning that AK had videos from when you and Ron were enemies uh, on her channel, then why would he even, like, why would he go and do that short then? What's the point of doing the short on the 19th if he doesn't want involved in any of this and calling out AK by name? He could have just not said a word and nobody would have known the wiser or been the wiser about it. And if there's another thing that you all need to know. <laughs> DeVeo Greg. Um, You're awful. Forever. If there's another thing all of you need to know, it's the following. Some of you forget who the fuck I am. You really do. Um, it's good to see you. Good to see everybody. Um, some of you forget where I grew up, where I lived all my life. I lived in one of the most snake-infested pits of vile trash behavior. Yeah, so do like 10,000 homeless people. Just because they grew up in Washington, D.C. doesn't mean that they've acquired any knowledge or anything from it. I'm just saying, she's not saying, you forget what I was. I was a journalist for Fox News. Or you forget I went to an Ivy League college. 
No, she's just like, I grew up in Washington, D.C. Yeah, so did a bunch of other pieces of shit. Who cares? In the country, basically. I mean, there are other states that are more corrupt. But when it comes to running ops at a high level, D.C. is the place where it happens. I started working in politics when I was 14 years old. I have worked for political a round consultants. Of a I have been friends applause. with political consultants. I have been friends with some of the meanest, nastiest, most underhanded political consultants in the business Ooh. on both sides of the aisle. And here you fucking sit with us fucking trash. Clara, stop fucking saying your accolades and how much you've accomplished because at the end of the fucking day, you're here addressing us trash. You are not in front of a room full of your peers that want to watch you and want to learn something from you. You are preaching to what you say is the lowest of the low trash. You're right down here with us. So, yeah, keep singing your own praises. Keep tooting your own horn. All roads lead back to here. You're here now. You are with negs. <laughs> you should probably think a little more about what's happening in your life right now than talking about what you used to be before you got here, before you landed here. And you're quite happy here, clearly. <laughs> she's about to call, she's about to tell us how Ron's son calls her mom. If so that I isn't fucking weird and now, creepy. Sadly for the people involved in this one, they were amateurs. I have dealt with professionals. So I know when fuck shit. But here you are, out. DC. But here you are with us. Thank you, Sherry. The riffraff. And some people think that they can get one over on me. And what I do is I sit back and I wait. Because all that come, all that happens is, thank you, my darling. Thank you, D. I appreciate it. Everything that happens oh, in the D. dark eventually comes to light. And a lot of this happened in the dark. D sighting. Until I went to Washington. I was in Washington this weekend. From Friday until yesterday. I was visiting my aunt. And wouldn't you know that everything blew up on Friday. The minute I stepped out of this house, the pot started getting stirred. Mm. Now, some people have said that there's a connection between my leaving and this happening. Oh, I don't pay attention here. She's about to say, I don't think there was anything about me leaving that had to do with this. And then in the next sentence, she is going to say, I don't think it had anything to do with it. Or no, she's going to say, I don't think it had anything to do with it. And then say she did. Just listen. Just listen. Just pay attention. No, if I believe that, I am not a QAnon wacko, unlike some people. Doesn't know if she believes it. But there are a lot of people who are convinced that these people waited until I was gone to have full <laughs> access, unfettered access to Negs. And they proceeded to bombard him. You hear it? With extremely triggering content. Did you hear that? I'm going to back it up because I found that just crazy in two sentences. First, she said people are convinced, but she's not convinced it had anything to do with her leaving. And then in the next breath, she says, people waited for her to leave to do this. Right, DeVeo Greg? We need conspiracy negs up here. <laughs> oh, I love that picture. I might try to go she find it. My leaving and this yes. Time, I Just listen to her. I'm going to find conspiracy negs. Because this, in fact, this entire stream of hers is a fucking conspiracy. The whole thing. Don't know if I believe that. I am not a QAnon wacko, unlike some people. Mm. But there are a lot of people who are convinced that these people waited until I was gone to have full access, unfettered access to Negs. Okay. And they proceeded to bombard him with extremely triggering content and get him worked up until he even suspected people who had been in his life for years of having bad intent towards him. And what would she have done to stop it? She never does any other time. Mm -hmm. There she he did. is. Conspiracy name. Knowing goddamn well that if I was here, none of this would have happened. They broke his rule. They sent him very upsetting for him information. They broke, broke information his rule. To, uh, you know, it's all their his fault. Level of worry about things that were not happening. And they filled his head with lies. And then, and then they made the absolutely huge mistake. Conspiracy of trying to keep up with me. There he is. Now, I want a message to go out very, very loud and clear to everyone. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Oh, here she goes again. I will again. not permit anyone to fuck with my family. Not ever. Not ever. I thought I made myself abundantly clear. 
Who's fucking with her family? So for all these bitches who were using this bullshit about the videos on AK's channel in order to find a way in, in order to undermine me, you failed. She's gonna go and fucking I'm crazy. You again, if you want to shoot at the queen, you'd better not miss. You got it? And if you think I don't know that these ops started in January of last year when I joined Negs' server and kicked up when Negs and I got together in April, you are sadly mistaken. I have been following all this for quite some time and I have said nothing. I've said nothing. Not publicly. And, you know, this, the thing that scares me the most. Thank you, Jaylee. The thing that scares me the most is that it almost fucking worked. It almost worked. Okay. So what you're about to hear is DC explain that there is an effort to break she and eggs up and have someone else come in and swoop him away from her. Swear to God. That's what DC took from all of this that kicked off this fight. I know she is Beth Roche. We're about to hear it. We are about to hear it. Hello into the mystic. You're right about Again, that. You want to shoot at the queen, you better not fucking miss. I hope that you all wrote that down. Write that down. Now, I can tell you, I can tell you, point blank, that this would not have happened if I had been here. It would not have happened. But I wasn't here. So some people decided they were going to use that opening to come in and exploit the man that I love. And you were going to try to get me to leave the house. You were going to get, try to get Negs to distrust me. And you were going to try to break up my family. That's what you guys were doing. Okay. Why? I don't know. Could be a lot of reasons. So, again, more conspiracy. That this is so Negs will distrust her, as in AJ Lair brought up the videos of Clara saying bad things about Negs in order to get Negs to j distrust her. So she's going to say that, but again, she's going to say the opposite. She's going to say the opposite of that in just a second. Listen. Um... One reason is uh, because the ringleader of this thing is good friends with someone who absolutely loathes the two of us. So it could have been done for content. It could have been done to give content to all those reaction channels that hate us so much. That's one possibility. It could have been done to remove me from this house and replace me with someone else who had been waiting in the wings. I don't know, maybe a bit of both. Maybe a bank shot, you know? What? So... And she's also going to say that they, again, I said, she's going to say that they discussed these clips in length already several times. So they, those clips should not have even been a fart in the wind to them. They've already discussed them, already knew that they existed. It should have been nothing. But she's trying to spin this crazy shit. They are the only ones trying to spin it into something else. None of us that are reviewing it are. It's these two. Negs created it, and now Clara has just gone off, completely off in left field somewhere. None of us thought that anybody was trying to bring another woman into that house, but that's apparently where Clara is at right now. Delusional. It's sad. Where's my tiny violin? Now. I have it. <laughs> I'm back now. Okay. Um, Clara is back now. What you tried to do? just like the people who call CPS to come to this home, is you tried to create a wedge in my relationship. You tried to take me away from Slade, who calls me mom, by the way. A boy that we recently discovered has hidden gifts that we haven't talked about because we're not going to. Um, then why even bring him up at all? What are you talking about? Someone tried to take you, what? Who's trying to take you away from Slade? Why do you even have to bring Slade up? He calls me mom, by the way. That's just weird. You're not even, like, married to Negs. You've been together for a year. Not even together together, like, living together. But okay, whatever. Okay. A boy who has flourished. A boy I help with his homework. A boy I cook for. And, of course, his father, too. A boy I love. 
Congratulations. See, I for any amount of money, any reason whatsoever. I would never leave that boy. And that's what these people tried to do. They tried to break up my family. Who? And they tried to do it by coming for me and filling Meg's head with suspicion, doubts, and lies. You're about to say that you guys have already discussed these clips and you knew they existed. So how could that possibly? And she says it almost worked to drive a wedge between them. And Ron's on his rumble crying because DC understands why he doesn't trust her. Like, this is all such bullshit. Just blown up bullshit. It's nothing. It's a huge nothing burger. And watching these two try to make it into something, all of them. Tragic's trying to make it into something. AJ, AK. Yeah, Kristen. Creepy. Angel thinks she met, he, she probably did meet grandma. He calls her grandma. Salty, I will be right there beside you. Yes, in the front row. That's what they tried to do. Thank you guys for being here. So you all Please are no better. Please click the like the button. Who sent Thank CPS you. To this family eight times. You're just as bad. Only the CPS wasn't this, there eight the times. The worse was that they did it under the guise of helping Megs, of being his protectors and looking out for him. And they did. I wonder it. if she's talking about the character Negs or Ron. Are you? Oh my gosh, she's probably talking about the character. So all of this is just, it's all part of the act. Of course. She's referring to him as Negs. Isn't that weird too? These two have been dating for a year. They're going to open a professional business together. Yet when she's talking about him, she refers to him as Negs. She almost never refers to him as Ron. I think that's weird. I think that's like a cycle. I think it matters is what I'm saying. It might seem like a small thing, but I think it matters. I think it's a clue. I do. Is Mr. Peanut Butter here, Beverly? The selfish ends. I could so go for a peanut butter I time. I up. have to see it, though. The people making money are the people who hate us, the people who do all those awful streams about us. Uh, the people okay. who have tormented us, the people who are sending trolls into Nexus chat to uh, trigger him. And the ringleaders were so well coordinated that while I was away and Negs was streaming, they allowed all these negative comments about me to go through Ugh. during chats. Negs is a toddler. And broadcast and um, stated uh, or, or um, described as proof that Negs, Negs and I were on the outs, that Negs and I were splitting up. Um, and that all these fantasies that they had about me running an op on him were true. That's exactly what they did, Anna. They took advantage of Nick. In reality, DC, we all know you're not that cool. And at this point, you might as well just never even try to make it that you were running an op at this point because it's gone too far. Nobody, like at this point, you've gone past the point where it would have been cool and funny. And you might as well just stay there now. You've, you've pretty much turned into Nigs at this point. Hey, Gregory Schmiggery. Her extension look more and more raggedy every time I see them. Are they still even extensions? I, it looks like she doesn't even have enough hair to hold extensions onto. Like, it is bad. You can see up. Let me get my pointer. You can see right here that she has hairs that are only like an inch long. Like breakage. Very bad breakage right here. I don't think she's taking care of herself. Honestly, I don't. I think that she's in this house and having some kind of a like a, a mental midlife crisis breakdown and she went to this house with negs to feel like younger because they do they act like they're in high school they sit up in the attic and they smoke pot and they whatever they invite puck over and the 15 year old comes up and has a beer with mom like it's just it's just fucking weird at this point it's weird this is mental illness it's not a love story who care about him that's exactly what happened, just like Gigi did, just like Belinda did, just like so many others have done to him. All of them, Pina, all of them have tried. Why are you frozen? And no. he finally woke up and saw the light. Are we frozen? Which is what led to us making amends. Uh-oh. You bitches tried to break up uh -oh. my family. Who Hold on, we might have to re reopen the video. 12 minutes, let's see. I don't want her to be glitching like that. That's no fun. Go back to 12 minutes. Sorry for the interruption, guys. I just don't want it to be glitchy like that for you. Some might say that Neg's almost lost me over this, but I happen to be a very stubborn person. 
And it is, it's for like the record, out of line. I have to keep a door next. Weird. Next is the love of my life. And that boy, I will never leave him. Not ever. Okay, mommy, dearest. And I will never allow one of these bitches to take my place. Not ever. Who's and trying I know what to take Nick? Doing. You think I'm stupid? You think I don't know what's going on? And I know it was all done in the dark. But it's come to light now. Now, what ultimately you think happened I don't know what's going in this on. sorry affair you don't? was that they overplayed their hand. And they started sending nags. And I told him this. I had told him that A.J. Lair was trying to undermine me. She made no secret of it, both on her channel and in chat. See, made she no let it slip. Made no she says right there that she made it known that A.J. Lair was trying to underhand her. So she's, she just made it known that she was in Neg's head talking. Right there along with everyone else. She's saying everyone else dragged him into this. Yet, okay, Claire, you just said that you put in his head that AJ's trying to undermine you. So clearly, even though you were in Washington visiting your aunt, you were still filling his head with this stuff, which he then acted on. It doesn't sound like you tried to stop it at all. No secret of the fact that she's Just weed, Jamie. It. They just smoke I mean, hemp. She worded it was kind of And clever. like gas station weed. But I knew, I knew. So. Lord help me. She knew. I waited. I waited. I knew that once I got back, I would be able to speak to Nags face to face. And we would be able to have an actual rational conversation about what was going on. So they were fighting. They were fighting. AJ Lair is a liar. She's a liar. A conspiracy theorist. And you guys heard in that last clip that we watched of Negs, he was not sticking up for AJ, but he was saying she proved what she said. She proved she wasn't lying. He wasn't on bad terms with AJ. But now listen to DC. She was shit talking AJ the whole time, stirring the pot, as I said, along with everybody else, stirring Negs pot. But now she's here blaming everybody else for it. Please take some accountability, Clara. Okay. Oh, okay. That part's coming, actually. Yeah, let's go. She's about to. Oh, okay. She was in Meg's server like a fucking sleeper cell, you know, forming bonds with people who don't like me and wanted me gone, and have made no secret of the fact that they've wanted me gone since last January. And so she was sent out. Where's this she's coming the only from? One with the channel, she was sent out to try and destroy me. Fast forward to Meg's live streams. Where these same people who were mods on his channel were allowing all these hateful comments about me to go through un undeleted. They were letting them stand. Oh, oh, it's just about me, right? Who cares? So I had to go in and delete them myself. And of course, there were a lot of channels that made money on those messages coming through in chat. Oh my that was God, the new stop it. That Negs and I were about to split, that Negs didn't want me here anymore. All of that bullshit, right? So again, AJ, thank you for making so much money for people who hate us. Thank you. I appreciate it. She's no edgy girl. She's being an edgy girl. She wrote this stuff down. Look at her reading her what fucking it notes. Is disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Oh, I want those notes so bad. It's like my Adrazia hat. I want those notes where she wrote, they tried to take away my baby. They tried to take away my love, but they didn't succeed. Look at that face. She looks terrible. She looks awful. Disgusting. You can protest your innocence as much as you want. You can call everybody a liar. It's amazing how all these liars heard the same thing or saw the same thing. Didn't want to DM with people privately. He doesn't want to communicate privately with people who are going to fill his ear up with bullshit or make him paranoid or anything. And I, I could not be prouder. Hey, I'm protected, Lex. Yeah, sounds like she needs to be there in person to manipulate him and put batteries in his back, right, Unprotected Lex? It's not like it stopped after she got back home. That's when he did that stupid apology stream, and she's taking back apologies. He said he owed everyone an apology, and now she's saying there was this effort to take him from her. Like I said, they need to get together and discuss before they do streams, because they are saying opposite things. Up next. That stream yesterday that he did showed incredible growth to admit and apologize. And I know that there are a number of you who are angry, and I understand why, I do. Nobody likes to be attacked unfairly, and nobody likes 
to be dismissed, especially those who have been with him for years and adore him and love him and are faithful and loyal to him. Here she goes. And then sees what happened. Beg for the he money back. Get the money back. Doing. And he knows what they were trying to do and didn't manage to do, that they failed to do. Crazy. So again, again, I think that this happened for a number of reasons. And it was all selfish. They were selfish reasons. Because Trying you to get left. their hooks into my boyfriend. What are you doing? For their own purposes. What are you doing? I kept my mouth shut since April of last year. I had been disrespected wildly by one of these people. Publicly. April of last year? And I addressed it with nags. And I decided the best move would be to block and just ignore it. But now it's gone too far. It's gone too fucking far. And some of you bitches are going to need to accept the fact that I am not going anywhere. I live in this house. There's a child in this house who calls me mom. Uh, shut and if you up. bitches ever try to come for my family again, DEFCON 1, and that is a promise and a threat. <laughs> okay? How is that coming for her family? This is, this is just scathing. So what we're going to do going forward is the following. We are going to have our family. We're going to be private about it. We are going to open the store. Uh, we're going to start moving some stuff over there today, this afternoon. Oh, today. We are going to focus on real life. They're going to start moving it today. On the internet. And I have a... She had to write it down. I have she a request for everyone. Down. To do There list. were people who left Negs' server because of all this mess. Um, there are people who have left, left Negs' server because certain people... Um, because they cared about me and they knew that there were certain people who were coming for me and they made no secret of it. And by the way, a lot of this was being done behind the scenes in DMs. You think I don't know about that? I know all about it. Mm -hmm. I know all about it. I know what was said about She knows me. it all. And it's been going on for a long hey, time. Hey, Kelly Mitchell. DEFCON 1. I'm making a plea to those of you who left Meg's server because of this weekend to please come back. Um... Please come Everything back. Really ugly. Bring your credit card. Um, for those of you who are angry, I understand. And I don't blame you. Um, uh, okay. Claire, why would you understand why people were angry? If what you just said, you just said this was all about tearing you and eggs apart. And trying to hurt you. Why would you understand then why people are angry? Like, there wouldn't be a reason for people to be angry if what you just said was true and that this was just people trying to pull Negs away from you. No, Negs threw another crybaby fucking tantrum because one or two people didn't do what he wanted them to or react in the way he wanted them to react. And he took it here. He created this entire thing. That's right, loyal warrior. She sees DMs. She sees it all. Everybody tells her everything. What's but she looking opinion, at now up in the air? knowing Negs as well as I do. Yesterday's stream on Rumble was... You don't know Negs that well. And I couldn't be prouder of him for streaming what he did. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. Such bullshit. It's been a rough 24 hours. But I'm asking those of you who left to please consider coming back because the danger is gone. And for those of you who have been in his community for years and who left because of what happened. Um, I can assure you that it has been dealt with. What has been dealt with? What and has? It happen again. I want us all, all of those of us who love Nick's and who have supported him and um, wow. who appreciate him, I want us all to be able to make amends and I want us all to be back in one community. I would love that. Because we need your you money. may be a little bit doubtful. <laughs> Or some of you may not be able to afford the ten dollars a month or whatever it is, but I can assure you that Negs's server is a warm and inviting place to be, um, and that this will not happen again. So please, I'm asking you. This please, happens, please and Negs admits it and says it out loud. This happens like bi yearly, every six months or so. This happens. So no, you cannot promise this isn't going to happen again. Even Negs says. 
he constantly has to rebuild his audience, whether it's because it's been ripped away from him or because he did something. It happens all the time. I'm asking you to give him a second chance, please. Um, he's aware. He's aware. He's not! What are you talking about? He's aware of what? This drives me crazy. She just said that it was all about tearing him from her. But now she's apologizing for what? Then what did Negs do? If this was all about pulling you two apart, like you just said for the past half hour, what are you apologizing for? She's losing her mind. She's losing it. Yes, Junebug, $10 a month for Discord. After they did the fundraiser for 10 grand for the store and the fundraiser for 10 grand for the uh, lawyer fees for DC. Yep, $10 a month. You're right, Anna. <laughs> you are absolutely fucking right. You are right. Bitch, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> and I'm saying bitch in the friendliest, warmest way I can convey. Um, yeah, it's been going on for a while, Anna. It's been going on for a oh, while. Oh, you're so full of shit. And like I said, they found the perfect person and made, and, and just waited for exactly the right time to, to strike. So, okay. That's what this was all about. AJ Lair wants to get Ron. That's AJ Lair wants Ron. Wants to break up. Clara, so that she can have him in the attic and Slade and all of that. That's what this was all about. The negative nation. That was it, guys. The would somebody. Oh, I don't even know if I have mods nope. in here. Okay. Good. We can't see the chat. I just put it in chat. Um, it's probably in my description box as well. Um, but if you hear you that, well, Beth, please, take care of that. Go make about well, five please, accounts, sir. Beth. Rejo that help your master. Bethopotamus or whatever you're called. Go over to Patreon, make five or six accounts, and just every one of them, ten dollars a month. I know you can make it happen. I know you can. Pointing. Um, and if you would all please, and I'm asking you this, um, I'm not begging you. Who I'm doesn't want you. Chow Main? Please attend. Are you D? There are a lot of are you the Chow Main who gives money to Negs all the time, or are you somebody else? And why are you here if you are that person? Isn't that the screen name that gives Negs money in Rumble all the time? If not, I'm sorry. But I feel like that's a very distinct name to have. And I don't know why you're here if it is you. Um, it's a lot of music. It's a lot of fun stuff. Just stupid chat. Who know, doesn't what? Um, his live me is Negs Live. So, um... I know some of you bailed off the app because of all this mess. If you would pre please consider because they tried to steal and going eggs from her, and watching his um, and watching his streams. Isn't that um, what it is, Lion Eyes? Beth Bethotomus or something? Bethemus? I Bethemus. It. I really do. I really do. I like Bethopotamus uh, better. The tide has turned. I'm gonna say Bethopotamus. <laughs> and we're all going to learn from what happened. Bye, Texas one. Um, thank you, Anna. Really. I, 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 thank you. Anna. It has to be Anna Nicole. She's a fucking you, mess. Anna. She would. We're all going to get through it. And hopefully we can close the book on this. <laughs> oh, my God. And, um, close the book on what? On what? And just build a good community. Oh, thank again. you, Faith. Because there have been problems for a while. Let and me pause this and apologize to you, Chow Main. I'm so sorry. Someone has a very similar name to you that donates a bunch of money. But I don't want to spread that rumor. Chow Main is good, everyone. That was my stoned mistake. Nobody attacked Chow Main. Welcome. I'm sorry, Chow Main. You're A-OK. -okay. I think that those problems are now over. They've been dealt with. Thank you, Peekaboo. And the have been plotting and scheming. <laughs> Chow Main, I wish I had scheme, D. Higgins money. Uh, are either going to be gone or they are going to get the message and leave on their own or they're going to keep their mouths fucking shut and they won't try this crap again. Oh, crrr. So, um, I appreciate all of you. I really do. It has been exhausting, Jojo. 
And Looks we like also it. found out that AJ was in communication uh, with someone who has expressed a strong hatred for the two of us. Yeah, Don't know who she's goes referring deep, to there. It goes deep. Some of us saw it. Uh, some of us knew what was going on. Um, but now that it's all come to light, I just... Um, I don't know, the whole thing makes me sad, it makes me angry that strangers, bitches on the internet, could have come this close to destroying my family. You were that close to getting it, AJ. You almost had a piece of daddy but nigs. Bitches on the internet. Mm -mm. Clara's not allowing it. And this is why I made a strong rule that was unbreakable with nigs that none of these people would be allowed into our home, not ever. And that was last year. But you're inviting the whole world to his store. So, um, again, it didn't work, and it will never work. So fuck off. Get yourselves a man. Get yourselves a hobby. Is go she about to open? Else. And don't you ever, ever co go to anyone who She's is serious. having some kind of an episode and claim that you are trying to rip his girlfriend away, the mother to his child, uh, uh, because you are trying to look out for that person's best interest. The evil in that, the evil of that still kills me. She says that with such conviction. Nobody said they were trying to... T I can't even imagine how that AJ bitch feels. I don't even like her, but my God. Clara has convinced herself that AJ wanted a piece of her man. Look at that face. Look at that face. She is livid. This is not a joke, people. This is not a joke. She looks like she's ready to eat somebody. She looks like a velociraptor in that picture. Olaf, you know what to do. I want a half Clara, half velociraptor in my Twitter by the time I'm done with this stream. Call, go to God. anyone. Who she's is so mad. Having some kind of an episode and claim an episode. That you are trying to rip his girlfriend away. The mother to his child because you are trying to oh is look it really gonna start this shit again the evil in that the evil of that still kills me. i'm not having it i'm opening it again i don't want her skipping like that i don't know why it's even doing that but i'm not having it we're finishing this strong 24 minutes 23 seconds um oh I knew that eventually the call would come from inside the house um i didn't know in what form it would come but i knew it was going to come because I knew that it was all going to blow eventually. Um, <laughs> she knew. Look at your notes. It will never happen again. She wrote, it will never you, happen again. You can count on me. Take she wrote that. It. it will never happen again. And Megs will never allow it to happen again. Oh, Megs is mad. Or, Rocky's mad. So, for all of you who were under the impression that Megs was about to throw me out, or that Megs... Um, was giving me the side eye, or that um, I was going to leave him because I couldn't take it anymore, or that I was going to go anywhere. If you think that I would abandon Negs and that kid, I would never do that. I would never take myself away, and I would never take Bug away because he's part of this family now, too. Oh, and the dog. I would never do something like that. I am an exceptionally stubborn individual, and it's going to take a lot more than a bunch of thirst bucket bitches to get me out of my home. Okay? Oh, no, there happen. she did it. Okur. 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 And if any of the cunts who were involved in this uh, <laughs> failed op have, are thinking of DMing me, don't. I blocked you. I don't want to hear your side of the story. I don't, don't even give do a shit it. if you want to apologize. Go fuck yourselves. It's never going to happen. Fuck off. That's no her story, and she is sticking to it. She doesn't care if she's wrong that you want her man. That's it. She doesn't want to hear anything else. <laughs> She wants to live with that delusion that someone's trying to steal Megs from her. Clara, that's one problem you'll never have in your relationship is someone trying to take Negs from you. That's like the one issue you can count on never having. Trust me. That's not the problem. Failed op, Mandalorian. The failed op to steal Negs from Clara. Well, did. I Fail. know what you tried to do. You failed. Go fuck yourselves. Joe Mean, she was being a uh, Cardi B. Oh, yep. it's just like her. I'm a gangsta, or this. You're.
this. Never forget, Claire is an edgy girl. Who's an edgy girl? Who's an edgy girl? Who's an edgy girl? She does do the strangest things, doesn't she? The okur. Okur. Let's listen to Edgy Girl one more time. Who's an edgy girl? Who's an edgy girl? <laughs> Just unprovoked. She did that. Where the fuck did she get this shit? <laughs> so, again, I just wanted to say what happened. Lord help and me. And I will never speak of this again because it's over. And okay. we're going to move forward now. So, okay. again, thenegativenation.com for those of you who left. Or for those of you who never joined, um, I would Shilling love for it. eggs. I would love I've it. I've had the if tiny you violin come back or you the whole time. Or join for the first time. It's a great community now. It's a great community now. Um, and the server is really lighthearted. It's a lot of fun. There's zero drama. There's zero anything. Mm. Um, and we'd love to have you. Everybody, rush over there. We would love to have you. Make sure you bring and your by the PayPal. Way, I know who the old Discord moles were. Slash cash I know who out. They were. I'll talk to Negs about that later. But we know, I know who the moles were. Oh, she knows who the moles were? But she's going to talk to Negs about it later. She doesn't live with him or anything. So she couldn't have said, hey, these were the moles. She's saving that for later as a surprise. What the fuck? This whole stream was so fucked. I told you. I told you. She was not going to say anything you expect her to say. She is convinced that someone is trying to steal Negs from her. And I am here for it. I love it. And one of them, by the way. She's worried sick. One of them, she looks sick. One of them, by the way. <laughs> It's not a fucking doctor. A pediatric heart surgeon, my fucking ass. Who? Who? No, because that person... Is that, that who person is she? ...who was in the uh, Discord server has been popping up in chats left, right, and center, um, supporting people who actively hate us, so go fuck yourself. I think she's talking about yourself. who is she. I noticed that the, um, mm -hmm. that the English that you write in when you're in those chats does not match the English that you wrote in when you were in the server. Weren't you the person who tried to DM different people in the server, asking them for their phone numbers, saying that you had the medical records of people that you could share? Do you think that we're that stupid? If their writing styles don't match them, why do you think they're the same? Whatever. Why am I even asking questions at this point? Why am I? It's, it's delusional of me to ask these questions of her. Clearly, she is not in the right frame of mind to be answering those questions. Do you think that we're going to fall for that kind of a setup? Fuck I'll you. I'll pray for you, DC. So I know that you were the Discord mole. You were one of two that I definitely know uh, were either planted there or came in and did their damage and left. If you were screenshotting the Discord and sharing it with people, then those people got a lot of memes. God. Um, so, yeah. Well, there we you have it. Ruining the Nothing community. to see in the Discord. We don't want anyone ruining it for anyone. We want it to be a welcoming community for everyone. So, again... Just don't Negative try to Nation. take her man. Uh, please join us. Please join us on live. Join not us, me. Uh, join Negs on live me. It's Negs live. On oh, live shilling. He, a soul. he didn't. He's one of the kindest people I know. And there's certain people who are going to stay mad, and I get it. I would be mad too, but. Why would they be mad? Yeah, search for the answer. Is it up there? And I'm sorry. That I was away and I didn't get a chance to nip this shit in the bud. But it's over. He knows. He gets it. He's woken up. And I am so grateful to his community. Um, and I'm really grateful to all of you. Um, I appreciate it. I do. I really do. So that's all I have to say. I think I've talked enough. What is it? Oh, I, I almost talked. thoroughly agree with that, Clara. You've talked enough. Negs, give her a warm glass of milk and put her to bed. Please, you are taking advantage of her at this point. Oh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? It isn't you who is she? Thank you. Not who is she? Well, then who's the pediatric cardio? God, I don't even want to know. Yes, Faith Ludlow. I was about to shut it off anyways. I was checking the time every few seconds. That's when it's time to stop i i don't know where she got all of that out of aj mentioning clips that were on ak's channel it's way too many uh oh my god why can't i think of the word initials way too many similar initials for me at first i wasn't even sure if he was talking about someone other than ak i didn't realize he was singing aj i didn't know there was an aj 
So this was a lot to take in and make a timeline and all that shit. I understand why people were confused. But at the end of the day, Negs started all of this. And then he turned around and started acting like he knew nothing about it. He got onto his rumble, explained the entire thing, and then came on the next day begging people to come on panel and tell him what happened, even though he had already explained it to us the day before. And then Clara comes riding in on her steed and thinks that people tried to steal Negs from her, which none of us, nobody but Clara assumed that. I didn't, at least. Did anyone else think that that uh, AJ was trying to take Ron from Clara? Because I did not hear that one time from anybody. Why can I not find? I want to move. There we go. I want to move conspiracy negs over and I couldn't find it. There's conspiracy negs with this tinfoil hat, everyone. Hey, Chuck Norris. I'm sorry I didn't see you until the end or maybe you weren't here until the end. But thank you for saying hello. Into the Mystic. You shouldn't have to babysit a 47. I think he's 47 now. Just turned 47, I think. Whatever. Close enough. You shouldn't have to babysit a 46-year-old man. Yes, Into the Mystic. I agree. All right. Let me put this song on, guys. I do have to get off. My kids are going to school. Oh, my gosh. Guys, we're going to get back to our regular schedule. I guess I can talk about that while I'm winding us out of here. We're going to be back to morning and afternoon streams a couple of days a week. And then I'm also going to keep a few of our night streams because I love doing night and evening streams now. It's so much fun. Is our song coming on? Mm, I don't think it is. There we go. Oh, and I hid eggs, but that's okay. <sighs> DeVeo Greg, I agree. She was extra creepy in this one extra extra creepy in this stream i did not understand any of that where she got any of what she just said but it was amusing to listen to nonetheless thank you ishka bibble thank you everybody i saw so many of you chatting the entire time we were on thank you so much for sticking around space ghost always good to see you school is a pinocchian scam i always agree with you space ghost no matter what you say you say such great things you always make it count. <laughs> Peekaboo, thank you. That's fine. Go rewind. Yes. Go back to the beginning. Thank you for being here and saying hello. Oh, too much carbonation. Buy salty, the mom thing. I can't. Yeah, she laid that on thick. She said it like three times. They are smoking crack. <laughs> Chuck Norris Gun Club. <sighs> if I didn't already know all the medications that Negs was on because he takes them on stream, I would probably assume that. If I had to assume, I would probably assume some sort of upper, such as crack, <laughs> crack, Adderall, something along those lines. Yes, thank you so much, everybody. Deveo, Greg, you were in here the whole time. Chow Main, I apologize again to you. I really thought you were D. I thought that you had the same name as someone in Negs' chat, so I'm very sorry about that. I didn't mean to go off on you. It is Chuck Norris. I haven't done cocaine since my early 20s. And I, I won't ever do it again. But it is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I did get to find that out. Bye, Graceful Raindrops. Bye, Faith. Thank you, all my replay watchers and everybody that donated and joined. Thank you so, so much for your support. Please subscribe. If you enjoyed the stream, please leave a like for me. I always try to get to 333 likes. That's my goal. I want to get to 333 on a stream and be able to take a screenshot of it. Okay, I'm going to do timestamps like a good little creator. It won't be as long until my next stream. The kids are going back to school. We're going to be back to our schedule. Thank you, Rose, my mod. Always, you do such an amazing job. Okay, guys. Thank you. I will see you next time. Oh, okay.